Oh, hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Jimmy Guys, don't mind me. Just playing some uh, Darkwing Duck on the Game Boy Advance SP. <clears throat> so guys, with that being said, guys, 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 turned, it turned 30 this year. Uh, if you guys are reading the title of this video, you guys obviously know that I'm talking about the absolutely legendary boy of games. The Game Boy right here. Not this one, obviously. More likely it was uh, this one right here. Game Boy turned 30 this year. That's a big deal, guys. So, I'm not gonna go through the whole like hubbub of like the history of the Game Boy, because honestly, there are channels who dedicate way more time to that, and quite frankly, I'd much rather have you watch them than watch me. But, obviously, I figure this is kind of do, and you're gonna wanna hear it, so let's get to it. Game Boy, released 1989, followed to the Game & Watch by Gunpai Yokoi. Gunpai Yokoi goes without saying, unfortunately he did pass away in a car accident. Before he passed away though, he did release the Wonder Swan. Or I didn't, shouldn't say he released it, but he had a hand in developing the Wonder Swan. Uh, which, as you guys know, is another handheld, or you may not know. It's another handheld out there. But, that's not what we're talking about. Today, we're talking about the Game Boy and, well, more like my history with the Game Boy and like what it contributed to my life. Because honestly, what else you can do besides a retrospective, right? So, the Game Boy. How damn, guys. There's a lot of places I can start here with the Game Boy, but I'm gonna start from the beginning with me. So, I actually got my Game Boy as a child way back in the day from my father. Um, it was a Christmas gift back in the, uh, I think it was the early 90s, mid 90s. If I remember correctly, my first game was Tetris. I remember uh, my dad took me to, I believe it was Best Buy. I think I've said this story on this channel before. But my dad took me to Best Buy to pick out some video games for my Game Boy, so I wasn't just playing Tetris. And uh, I remember the two games I ended up picking out were um, Wario Blast, which I actually do have. Which I actually do have, but I'll pull it out later. Wario Blast and Earthworm Jim for the Game Boy. Mainly because Earthworm Jim, my name is Jimmy. I had to do it, guys. I mean, come on, why wouldn't I, right? Granted, Earthworm Jim isn't the best game out there, I've come to realize, but hey, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much my history with the Game Boy in the beginning. Um, it's kind of wild to think that after the Game Boy was released, a lot of, like, my school friends, elementary school friends, had a Game Boy as well, and they just had a ton of games. Bear in mind, too, like, these games are obviously easy to sneak into school to play them. Because, I mean, look at how tiny these were. You can play these anywhere. I mean, the Game Boy wasn't the, the most portable system, but it was portable enough as to where back in the day you can wear them in, you know, regular pants. Compared to now where people just wear a bunch of loose, slim straight, or skinny jeans and whatnot. I don't like yours truly here. <laughs> but, uh, that's something else entirely for my own fashion taste. But yeah, guys. It's pretty goddamn cool. Um, I have a lot of really fond memories of the Game Boy. The Game Boy actually, uh, I actually do have fond memories playing uh, Yoshi Cookie. Oh yes, Yoshi Cookie. Yeah, actually, now I remember, I did get Yoshi Cookie as well on Game Boy. Uh, that was another one of the first games I did get on Game Boy as well. So it was Wario Blast, Yoshi Cookie, and Earthworm Jim. So three games total. Wow, how the heck did I forget Yoshi Cookie? So. I do have memories of playing uh, Tetris uh, with the link cable with uh, my neighborhood friend at the time. And I also have memories playing Yoshi Cookie, or Yoshi's Cookie. I do have a lot of memories playing that, and there's some really good memories actually. I also remember uh, the time when Pokemon came out, and that became a huge thing. Everyone had to have a game. Uh, there is also the many, many revisions of the Game Boy, which I never jumped on. Uh, I went from Big Grip big brick Game Boy to Game Boy Color. I'm dead serious. And um, honestly, going from four AA batteries to two AA batteries on Game Boy Color was such a goddamn godsend. I do remember the bountiful amount of accessories that we would get on the Game Boy. And hot damn, guys, there was so many goddamn accessories Game Boy. Like, guys, I don't think you guys have any flippin' idea how many accessories there were. There were accessories for the accessories on the Game Boy, guys. There was literally a crap ton of goddamn accessories, guys. I remember uh, my father, 
that same Christmas, he got me a... Wow, I'm getting all these memories. It's kind of flooding back. Bear in mind, like, I wrote something, but I'm getting them flood back now. I remember uh, my dad, he bought me a Game Boy, and he bought me a, um... It was like a little lens that folded on top of the Game Boy, and folded out, and it was a magnifying glass, so you can, you know, look at your games in a slightly bigger screen. <clears throat> um, the Game Boy was also my first introduction to Kirby's Dream Land 2, which became pretty much the quintessential game for me uh, on the Game Boy literally started my love affair for the Kirby series in general. Uh, I'm dead serious about that. Also, like I said, uh, Wario Blast, which introduced me to Bomberman, which started that whole love affair of Bomberman for me. Uh, holy cow, yeah. Yeah, guys, this is pretty wild, though. It's kind of funny to think because uh, I didn't have a lot of Game Boy games growing up. Later on in life, I pretty much made it my goddamn mission to own to own every Game Boy game that I liked as a kid, and every Game Boy game that I vividly remember having really good memories of. And, as you guys will see on screen, it's, uh, became a really big hobby of mine, and a really big obsession for a bit. A couple years ago, I went on a huge bender of just buying Game Boy games. And bear in mind, not buying them loose, but buying them CIB, complete, in box. Mint. 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 But I'm dead serious though, guys. Like, it started a huge love affair for me with the uh, Game Boy, just buying them in box, buying them complete in box, buying the game. Sometimes I'd buy them loose, but they were, you know, in in a a bunch of, you know, in lots. And uh, that's also I also started importing Game Boy games as well. So yeah, I have a pretty okay collection of uh, Japanese Game Boy games, uh, Japanese Game Boy Advance games. I think I have like three of. Uh, my my biggest one being uh, Mickey's Magical Quest or Mickey's Adventure 2, whatever the heck it's called in Japan. Magical Adventure 2, yes. Which is uh, Mickey and the uh, Circus Caper, whatever the hell it's called, on Super Nintendo. And uh, Final Fight 1, which, as you guys may or may not know, Final Fight is uh, my favorite game because it was released in 1989. It's literally one of the very, very first memories I have is Final Fight. Yeah, but yeah guys, it's a lot of fun, um, I definitely remember being introduced to DuckTales on Game Boy. At the time, uh, my mother, this is like way back in the day, my mom would uh, go clean people's houses. Uh, yeah, I know, stereotypes, shut up. Uh, my mom would go clean people's houses, and she would bring us along, you know, three kids, lug us around, buy us donuts before we go, and um, obviously I'd bring my Game Boy and I'd be playing games. The lady's house that my mom would clean, she also had a Game Boy, and um, she also had a neighbor, and that neighbor had a kid who had a Game Boy and had a Sega. That kid, he had DuckTales on Game Boy. And honestly, between the two Game Boys that were around, uh, my mom's friend had Solar Strike, which I greatly, greatly enjoyed, and, uh, damn it, what's that game? Uh, Breakout, or Alleyway, I think is what it's called. Yes, Alleyway. And uh, I greatly enjoyed Alleyway a lot more than uh, Solar Striker. But this friend of mine had goddamn DuckTales. And I don't think you guys understand, but I flippin' love DuckTales. So any chance for me to, you know, to like see DuckTales in any kind of format, I gladly took it. I literally flipped my goddamn lid when I saw DuckTales on Game Boy. And uh, the, my friend brought it over and was like, play this game. It blew my goddamn mind. It's like, what? There's a DuckTales video game? How did I not know about this? Oh my god! Oh! Granted, at the time, I didn't even know there was a flipping NES game. Or there was even the second game. Which I regret not buying a couple years ago when it was like 25 bucks. But hey, hindsight, right, guys? Anywho, guys, it's. Those are pretty much like my big memories that I have of the Game Boy. And, um. Uh, it's just memories that, like, I have and, like, I really just want to get out there to the world. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more memories as well that I can think of. In fact, there's a ton of them. <coughs> Ooh, wee. Excuse me. In fact, guys, there's a ton of them. I mean, there's all the commercials as well for the Game Boy, which, as you guys remember, they were pretty goddamn wild and they had a lot of two. And, uh, yeah, guys. I just want to know, guys, uh, what are some Game Boy games that you guys vividly remember playing as children? Any games you hold in high regard, even? Or just a game that you've been looking for, just you know, on the hunt, not, you know, buying on eBay or whatever. Or even, heck, if you even just 
pull the trigger and be like, you know, I'm just gonna buy this Kirby's Dream Land 2 CIB, drop whatever the hell it's going for right now, what, like, probably like 30, 50 bucks? I'm not even gonna check, because it's probably gonna be a lot more than that. But yeah, guys, oh my god, just let me know, guys, I really, really want to know, was there any fun memories, you know, playing Link Cables, and using the Link Cables to play Pokemon, playing Tetris, uh, playing whatever, even, heck, the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color, which, oh man, that'll... That deserves its own video. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below. Remember, guys, you are loved and you're beautiful. And remember to stay absolutely radical, guys. Thanks for tuning in, guys.